If you want to try Stream Deck for free, then stick around, I'm going to show you how. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, this is going to be a bit of a short video really, but it's all about uh, Stream Deck and how you can try it for free. And spoiler alert, there's an app for that. But just for the uninitiated, uh, Stream Deck is basically a large <laughs> bank of keys that you can use to activate all manner of uh, keyboard shortcuts and actions on your computer. It's what I use to switch between these scenes in these videos that I make, but I also use it for a whole host of other productivity tasks as well. Uh, I've done a number of videos related to Stream Deck, so I'll link to all of those, and I've just recently uh, released one as well that is all about how you can use uh, keyboard shortcuts more effectively on your computer, and that ties in nicely with the Stream Deck as well. So. If you want to try it for yourself, then uh, the easiest way is to try out the app. And uh, before we do that, I'll just show you the different models of uh, the hardware version that are available, because there's a couple of things to mention. So first of all, this is the version that I have. It's the uh, Stream Deck XL, and it's 32 keys on the, uh, the, the, the switcher panel and it's $250 at the moment in the US. There is also the original Stream Deck, which is 15 keys, and that's at $150. Uh, and personally, I would recommend, if you were going to buy the hardware version, buy either the 15 or the 32, because there is the little baby Stream Deck with six keys. And for me, I think that if you were to get this model, you may quickly find that you wished you had slightly more, because it's the sort of thing that when you feel that you've got a particular use case for it, uh, and then you actually get the device uh, you really see how uh, how powerful it is and how many other things you can do with it and as I say you will just wish you had those few extra buttons and at $80 for the six key version my feeling is that that is a little bit pricey compared to the productivity that you can get done with something that is uh, less than twice the price but with uh, more than twice the buttons but I'm not just urging you to spend more because the other thing is that the six key version at only six keys has got less keys than the mobile version and the mobile version is free to try. So I'll just tell you about that for a little bit. And here it is from the App Store. You download it as a free app on the iOS App Store. Now there is also an uh, Android version as well. I realized that in my previous videos, I tend to have focused on Apple and iOS, uh, whereas I should be also mentioning if there's something available for Android as well. So uh, I'll make sure I do that going forward but yeah it is available on Android as well and it's the same there it's free and both of them offer an in-app purchase and if I come down to the bottom the way it works is it's on a subscription basis so you could try it out for free and I believe the free trial is a month uh, it's either a month or two weeks, but don't take my word for it. But you'll you'll quickly get your the uh, hang of what it can do very quickly. In fact, for me, I had the, the free trial and then I bought the hardware device within a couple of days because I could immediately see the uses that I had for it. But anyway, it is $2.99 a month or $24.99 uh, for the whole year if you pay for the subscription. So you could try this and if you wanted to extend your trial, pay for it on a monthly basis and try it out for a couple of months, costing you $3 a month, and then uh, upgrade to the hardware version if you felt it necessary. But as I say, if you think about the uh, six button version for uh, six keys for $80, then that could get you a couple of years subscription <laughs> for, in fact, it could get you more than a couple of years subscription for this one. So you could have three years of the mobile app for the same price as that little six key version. And I don't know about you, but we seem as though we've got quite a few old phones knocking around and it doesn't really need that much of a, a powerful phone. So I've actually got it here running on a little old uh, iPhone 5XS that was uh, lying around and gathering dust and not getting used. So now it's getting a new lease, lease of life as a stream deck. And uh, what's that I hear you say? <laughs> but I've already got the hardware version. Yeah, so I'm actually a bit of a, um, I'm all in with stream deck at the moment. So I have it running on this mobile and my hardware version and then I do also have my uh, my normal daily mobile as well has it on as well so uh, yeah I can, <laughs> I can see a day when I've got a few more of them lying around although I may try the uh, loop deck next because I've uh, heard good things about that too and that's got some other functionality as well so maybe the two can work hand in hand together but that's the story for another video no doubt so once you've installed the app, it basically is, uh, as I say, it just appears on your phone. And I'll just show you quickly what it looks like if I can find my overlay for this uh, phone. There we go. By, as if by magic, it's popped up below me. 
so there you go it's a yeah pretty pretty empty phone as you can see not many not many apps on there i've got my uh, ndi on the bottom deck uh, dock and that is what i'm using to actually transmit this uh, my phone view into this scene of my ecamm live and i did a video all about how to do that and how to set that up so i'll link to that in the top corner as well and also down in the description uh, but yeah if i move this out of the way and just come over here for one second you can see that I've got my Stream Deck interface. Again, I'm not going to go over exactly how to use Stream Deck. That is something for another video, which is uh, linked in the description as well. But all I'll show you is when I open up Stream Deck on my phone, if I click on the app, hopefully it should uh, load up and you should see it loading up there. And it's basically just loading up the Stream Deck interface. There you go. Now you can use it in portrait or landscape. I'm using it in portrait mode just because it obviously fits in my nice little <laughs> overlay that I've got here. And uh, yeah, you can see that these correlate to uh, what is on the screen. So we've got the, uh, this is actually the buttons that I had for when I did my demo of Pro Mouse. And that's what I use when I'm demoing my screen like this to show you and highlight things or zoom it into different functions and things like that. So I'll link to that video as well. This video seems to be all links, doesn't it? But uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is where we can uh, add it in our icons. And yeah, it just looks like exactly like the, uh, the Stream Deck that we've got in our picture. And as you can see on this Stream Deck, we have got uh, how many? 15 buttons. So it is actually the same size as, let me just change my screen on my sh screen sharing and come back to here. We've actually got the same number of buttons as you have on this one. So it's a 15 button and also anything that you create on your mobile app if you did go and upgrade to the 15 button stream deck then uh, you could just copy all of those things across so you haven't lost anything by trying it out on here first but it really is uh, a handy little tool and yeah i can uh, i'm now activating my uh, my pro mouse from my little mobile app by pressing on the buttons and it's really effective just don't remember don't forget rather to uh, switch your mobile to uh, take off the auto lock so that there's a there's no time limit on it and just make sure obviously you when you leave your desk you do actually lock it but uh, then yeah you can get yourself some sort of little stand so i've got a little one of these little mobile stands and so it sits on my desk right next to my other stream deck and uh, yeah just extends that by an extra 15 keys well, there you go. That's about all there is to say about it, really. Go and download the app, try it out for yourself and see what all the fuss is about. If you found this useful, then please go and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get alerted whenever I make another video. And if you do like Stream Deck already, then uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to some other Stream Deck content over on the right hand side here. Until the next time, have a great day.